I got the idea for the Marlowe Papers six years ago. I was watching a documentary, uh, Mike Rubbo's Much Ado About Something, and it was the first time I'd been exposed to the idea that anyone other than Shakespeare had written Shakespeare, but this was covering the, the idea that Christopher Marlowe had written Shakespeare, and I hadn't heard of this idea before. But I got quite excited about it. I thought it was a fantastic story, and there was a Shakespearean scholar on the documentary, uh, Jonathan Bate, who said something along the lines of, you know, it's a ludicrous idea, but it would make a, a great novel. And I thought, yes, it really would, and I'm having it. The idea that Marlowe was the author of Shakespeare's works uh, was first put forward in the 19th century, and there's been quite a few versions of the theory since then. So the first thing I did was read all the different versions of the theory. Um, then I read every biography on Marlowe that's been written uh, to try and get an idea of who people think he is, um, and then all the plays and poems written by Marlowe and all the plays and poems written by Shakespeare um, in order to understand the personality of, of, of a man that could have written this entire canon. So some people say this is an outdated mystery, it's been around for ages, um, and, and other people obviously think it's, it's ludicrous, it's just a stupid idea. Um, but in fact, most of the people who say that kind of thing haven't looked at the primary source evidence. They haven't looked at the, the reasons for doubt of Shakespeare's authorship. And, and I was able to do that when I was researching this book and really go into the reasons for doubt. And I uh, was quite surprised to find it's not as ludicrous as people think it is. And there's actually quite a lot to support the idea of Marlowe's authorship. If I had to commit myself, I would say that of all the candidates for um, the authorship of Shakespeare's work, Shakespeare of Stratford uh, actually is the poorest of them. Uh, there is, it's all circumstantial for every candidate, um, but his case really should be documented. And there's no evidence at all from his lifetime, there's no primary source evidence that supports um, the idea that he was author of the works, or in fact that he was a writer at all. No one in Stratford knew that he was a writer. Um, several other people that should have been referring to him as a writer didn't. Um, there's a huge amount of missing evidence, um, which makes someone like Marlowe, who actually had a track record of not just writing, but actually writing like Shakespeare, uh, quite a strong candidate.